Street and to wait, take a, a right to go around the federal building and then cut that around and come back this direction. Um, but that's only been a few people talking, so there's a lot of folks here who have a lot of opinions about it, so I wanted to get people together to talk about uh, what exactly they want to see and that kind of thing. I just remember a discussion on Facebook about uh, the downtown, there's not much going on downtown, so they were talking about taking the route out into a more publicized area where there's lots of traffic to actually see what's going on. I was just wondering my question, because I'm not from here, is, is that route going to actually be a visible route or is it all going to be closed office buildings and nobody? I'm not sure it? about the route, but uh, I doubt we could pick up at a time since it's uh, right around rush hour. So whatever we decide, I think we should probably decide uh, quickly rather than uh, it's slowly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't no. need the megaphone. I'd like to speak against the idea of going down Monroe and passing through Park. Like Jake said, it's one of the wealthier areas in the neighborhood, but I think it's an overstatement to conflate it with like a capitalist haven or anything like that. Right. It's a bunch of yuppies living in studio apartments. Right. So I think we'd be going along and antagonizing people going to bars and trying to party and have a good time. And I don't think that's the kind of message that we want to send. But I think we should go to the Chase Bank headquarters down that way. Can we, do, can we do both? I mean, I see no reason why. Are these how long are these routes? That's one question I have. Are they are they similar? Like, what are we? You know, can we combine them? Can we do both? I just feel like somehow we have to. You know, evidently there's people who agree and disagree, and I feel like as long as we all keep our heads, maybe we could satisfy everybody. So, Park, this is the kind of message we want to send. You know, you guys, it's about just because they have money. Just because they have money, based off of other people suffering in the world. You know, doesn't mean we shouldn't go down the street and shouldn't shouldn't give them information. I tend to I anything. tend to agree. I mean, I don't wanna, this is the message. Want to this is. It's it's already the best break There's nobody downtown. Yeah. Except that he's downtown. downtown. Alexander. Yeah. Right, which we would be passing through if we go this way. Yeah. Right. If we hit Alexander, then go yeah. up Monroe, then. Yeah, because we could take Park down to maybe Banks or Alexander and then cut over to East and go west. So, I'm not really opposed so much um, to going down Park, Monroe Avenue, all that stuff, but to do it with the idea that the people who are out there, like, hanging around there are, like, our enemy or something isn't really the case. They come from the same social class mostly as everyone standing here. Um, so if you're going to go down there and antagonize them, I think it's a terrible idea. If we're going to go down there and just kind of march and like do our own, do our thing, you know, like that's I think I that's hope. probably the way to go. Right. That's what yeah. I hoped anyway. Yeah. We're not going down there to antagonize them. We're going to educate and inform them. Yeah. Yeah. Educate and inform. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully educate and inform. I would love to do both. I, mean, I, I feel like if there's, the I don't know the area. I feel like what I was saying, if it makes sense, I don't know. <laughs> I'm definitely opposed yeah. to antagonizing people. <laughs> If we were going to hit Chase and Bank of America, that would be going in that direction. If we want to go down Park, we'd have to go in that direction. That's what's literally splitting. Alright, everybody, this is the idea that's being presented directly. The idea is that first, we will go on the side that we're talking about with Park and Monroe. That we will swing back and that we will do the other side as well. That we will also go and we will also hit the banks after that, which is apparently in the opposite direction. The discussion of being able to do both. I see no reason not to do both. I have some time on my hands right now. So like, I don't I don't know if people agree with me or if they agree with me at all. Can anybody who agrees with that idea do a show of hands? Yeah. It's not too separate. If we at the end of Park cut down to East, it's, a big yeah, it's just a it's just a big That's East. At east pulls now. us out to Maine, then down Maine, up past the bank, and we're back here. Right. It's a circle. It's a big circle. Can we get somebody that knows the route? Like, uh, look at that route. Know the route. We we'll have a couple people up around the turns to guide you guys in the right direction to make sure things stay in a tight uh, group and uh, not get lost. Yeah? There are a lot of people here who are really nervous about. The, the tenor that's, that's sort of shifted over the last couple of hours. If you're planning to do any sort of illegal action, please do it separate from the march because there are a lot of people that are going to be in this march with kids, on probation, undocumented immigrants, you know, whatever the case may be, who don't want to go to jail today. So if you're going to do something that uh, endangers yourself, please don't make it endanger other people. Thank you. I'd also like to add that if you're going to do something like that, doing it and getting away with it means you can do it again. So doing it in public may not necessarily be the smartest thing anyway. Just an idea.
is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.
will never be defeated. The people Yeah, we just got the people. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.